What are we doing today? We're going to beat up a brand new PVD watch until its coating is stripped. Then we're going to see if it can be salvaged. Hi everyone, wristwatch check, the Rolex Datejust, coffee cup check, the Verve Sermon Espresso. Cheers. All right, so we all love our black watch, especially when it's new and pristine, it's super cool. Compared to our vintage timepiece that has scratches or some light dings, we call it having character. I think we can agree not so much with the black watch. In fact, it can make the black watch look kind of nasty. So what happens when the black watch finally gets scratched? And how difficult is it to actually scratch the PVD watch? We're about to find out. I'm going to intentionally beat up and scratch this black watch, this PVD watch, and strip its coating. And then we're going to see if it's worthwhile to either refinish it as the PVD or keep it with the steel finish that's underneath. Okay, get ready as I intentionally go to work on this watch. Eee. We're going to do a quick unboxing of the PVD watch that I'm about to damage. Actually, really quite nice looking watch. I hate to think about the damage that's going to be done to it, but we're going to see if this watch can be salvaged. Okay, stay tuned. If I hit it too hard, it would have broken the watch. I just wanted to break the coating. The matte finish underneath the PVD reminds me of a matte finished paint job on a car, like a primer before the fully finished paint job. I didn't like it at first, but it grew on me. This watch is my Jean Richard Aeroscope. It's a grade 5 titanium DLC coated versus the PVD. This is from my own collection and is a lot more expensive. It's also proved to be pretty indestructible. Uh, it survived the same knocks, the same banging test as I did with the PVD except I tried to use even more of a serrated blade here. It's a lot sharper and there was no damage whatsoever done to the DLC coating. So the takeaway from this is the DLC is a lot stronger 
than the PVD, especially with this. This is like I said in one of my earlier videos, this is a grade 5 titanium, which is one of the most durable materials for a watch. Thank goodness Jean Richard's DLC coating is very well made. It's built like a tank. The other takeaway is the inexpensive PVD can hold its own against a superior DLC coating in everyday casual wear and tear. However, the DLC shines under the deep scratch test. In reality, how many of us encounter such extreme measures? Still, it's nice to know the PVDs and DLC's pain threshold and the limits for what it can withstand. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the experiment. It's up to you whether or not you want your watch finished in its original PVD. I was quoted $130. I wouldn't spend that much on this watch because it would be just cheaper for me to buy a newer one. But if you have a more expensive watch, then it's something to consider. Or you can always leave it with this newfound finishing that we found. I kind of like it. It's unique and different. Thanks for watching. I'll see you the next time.